Fluids with Dr. Bernstein. Diving. Special guest, Big John. With Philip Matus, Mun Lun, Karen Ho, and Ben Bingham. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Bernstein, and I've interviewed professional diver, Big John. Let's hit it! Record. Fantastic. Big John, how is it when you dive off that diving board? Tell me about the diving experience. Oh, I'll tell you about the diving experience. It's amazing. You just, you're going up on that board, it starts like flapping, like a sail in the wind. Flapping. And then you look down, and you see the water. It's like, oh, there's water all up in my hair. Oh, I rocked that. That was a great story, Big John. Thank you. Oh, I have more questions. Big John, how tall are you? About six foot tall. Big John, about how heavy are you? Be honest. I call it about a buck sixty. Buck sixty. I don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out later with Google. All right. Big John. What is your volume? Hi, and welcome back to the classroom. I'm still here with Big John, though, except he's a drawing. <laughs> we were given mass and height. We later figured out width and depth of Big John. If we multiply height, width, and depth together, we have volume. We will use volume for important fluid mechanics calculations, such as buoyancy force. It's important to note, we're going to be considering Big John as a rectangle, because that makes things easier. Lastly, we took his mask, buck 60, used Google to find out what that meant, and then divided it by 2.2 to find his kilogram mass. Let's go to our diagram. The diagram. We'll be analyzing Big John's dive from three different points. One, as he's on top of the diving board. Two, as he's about to hit the water. And three, when he's underwater, stationary, after the dive. We can use this information to find many important things, like buoyancy force, final depth, velocity as he enters the water, and pressures on the body. If we know that the diving board is three meters tall, and we have all of his measurements, we can solve for these things. Let's get to it. Big John is at point one, three meters above the water. He executes a great dive. He enters the water at 7.67 meters per second. Now at point three, Big John has drag and buoyancy pushing him up and weight pushing him down. Buoyancy force is 1,273 newtons, weight is 712. This is how we calculated drag force. With rho velocity average and c, which is a constant for man, we are able to find that the drag force is approximately 208. This is conservation of, of forces. Acceleration was about 10. And finally, the final distance is 2.77 meters. Here is some information about pressure. At 2.77 meters under the water, the gauge pressure was 27.43 kilopascals. The absolute pressure, which is a column of air in the water, and the gauge pressure combined is approximately 1 128.767 kilopascals. At the surface, the absolute pressure was 101.33 kilopascals. At 3 meters above the water, the gauge pressure is 36.04 pascals because the only thing above you is a column of air. The absolute pressure was 101.3 kilopascals. There is a drastic difference between the pressure underwater than the pressure in air because water obviously weighs more than air. This is quite evident by the numbers that you see. And here's a hilarious video of Ben Bingham belly flopping. <laughs> 